Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, we are back with another edition of Quick Hits. Big news breaking today. Well, I mean, not officially, it's just rumors right now, but things look good. Uh, I have some notes here I want to get into on Pacquiao and Crawford, but before we get into that, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Yesterday's show on Terrence Crawford and Virgil Ortiz doing great numbers. Uh, guys, I'm going to have some trouble posting on Facebook for the next couple of days, so I need y'all to share and share or this, share this, share this, especially when we have uh, hot topics like what we have today. Um, I, I need y'all to share this just for the next couple of days today and tomorrow um, until I get this Facebook thing uh, figured out. But uh, please like and subscribe, share, open up social media. Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, uh, 8 to 10 minutes just to keep you up on the latest uh, boxing news and rumors. All right, let's get into it, guys. Like I said, big, big news as you can see on the bottom. Terrence Crawford. Manny Pacquiao in negotiations June 5 in Dubai um, is uh, what the rumors are right now. Top rank has a hold on the date, according to uh, Michael Coppinger. Um, there's one major hurdle, which I think is uh, more than just a hurdle. It's like the entire obstacle. Um, it, it's funding. Uh, but without that, uh, we don't have a fight. Um, so I, I don't know how they can say we're close if they don't have um, a handle on funding. But that's what they're saying. Um, they're saying that this fight is pretty much a go um, pending funding, um, which seems to me like, you know, I I'm going to buy a couple new Lamborghinis. The only problem is funding. Once I figure out funding, then I'm going to buy them. Oh, you know, um, kind of a hurdle. What I do want to get into is this is Pacquiao's last fight. So uh, Pacquiao avoided, I mean, we could say what we want. Pacquiao avoided Crawford for years. When they were at top rank, demand something like outrageous thirty my well thirty million dollars, thirty five million dollars, making outrageous claims for years um, over at top rank, um, and now he's it was we went to PBC and we don't really know what he's doing now. Uh, Crawford's on a fight by fight contract now with top rank. Um, it's just Pacquiao's last fight. He said Pacquiao Duck Crawford for years want nothing to do with the fight. Uh, Pacquiao. His wife, Pacquiao said, his wife said that he's not allowed to fight him. Uh, that's true. Um, Pacquiao claims that he said his wife um, said that he's not allowed to fight Terrence Crawford. Is this his last fight? You know, it, it seems like it is. Uh, this will be a big money fight. Um, you, you go back to Pacquiao's last fight. And I, I think in Pacquiao's head, He's got one up on Floyd now, right? He beat one of the great welterweights in this era, right? You have Crawford, Spence, Thurman, Porter, Garcia. Um, and Pacquiao has one of those scalps. Mayweather doesn't. So in his mind, and look, I'm not starting a debate here who had a better career. Floyd's a better fighter. Obviously, um, I would rate Floyd higher Full time, you know, all time. Who's higher, Floyd? Manny Pacquiao, Floyd. I don't want to get into that. Who had a better career? That's an interesting one. Um, I, I think, you know, if Pacquiao can get Crawford, he becomes the king of this era, right? I mean, his legacy becomes Tom Brady's if he can get this win. Now, I don't, and then he walks away, you know, John Elway style. Um, Michael Jordan on the shot, right? He walks away the king of the world. He beat Terrence Crawford, who's the number one welterweight, top two, three pound for pound cat, right? Like, he walks away the, you know, the king. Um, so let's get into it. Do I think this fight's going to happen? I, I don't think so, right? Because I, I, I've been, you know, I, I've been pretty consistent. on. I don't think he's going to fight any more premier fighters. I don't think Pacquiao is going to fight any more of the top guys at 147. Mikey Garcia is not really in that group. You know, um, he might fight Mikey Garcia. He's going to lose if he fights Terrence Crawford. Look, I, I get he beat Thurman. Um, you know, Thurman 
when he when he fought Thurman, he was he got ahead on the scorecards. He got the knockdown, and he and he and, and Thurman kind of ran out of rounds. Like if they fought again, I'd pick Thurman. I pick Crawford to beat him. I pick Spence to beat him. I pick Porter to beat him. I beat all those guys. I pick all those guys to beat him. I, I, I think uh, in that Thurman fight, Pacquiao came out like you know shot out of a cannon, like a house on fire, uh, and he just got ahead. And, and by the time Thurman figured things out, um, he ran out of rounds. It was just, it, with the knockdown and everything. It was just too late. He, he and then Pacquiao had him very late in the fight. He just ran out of rounds. Um, Crawford's a better boxer. And then Thurman, no disrespect, Thurman, the better pure box, the better defensive fighter is, is Terrence Crawford. Uh, I think in their primes, Terrence Crawford beats him. So I, I, I especially think a 42-year-old Pacquiao loses to Crawford. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's good. You know, uh, I think we've got an answer now. Well, I did a show yesterday on he's ducking Virgil Ortiz. He's ducking Sean Porter. Well, not if he's got this fight available. If, if this fight, you know, and I, like, if I'm wrong and this fight happens, I'll be the first to admit that I'm wrong. If he had this by, you know, front and center, and this is what they were working on, why would you negotiate with anybody else? Why would you? So, if this fight gets made, all is forgiven. Now, it's not the fight I want to see. We all want to see the uh, Spence fight. If we can't see the Spence fight, we want to see Virgil Ortiz or Sean Porter. Or Keith Thurman. <laughs> um, but it's a good fight. Uh, it's a legacy fight. It's obviously the biggest money fight of Crawford's career. And it's a fight he needs for his legacy. He needs a Hall of Fame name on his resume, and this is it. Even though it's too late and, and Pacquiao's old, we were supposed to have this changing of the guard four years ago, I feel. Um, maybe we'll get it now. Uh, but I do think this is Pacquiao's last fight. I think this is Manny Pacquiao's last stand. Um, look, it's a great career. It's a top 20 career of all time. Top 10 career, maybe. Down to 10 to 20 in there. Uh, you know, um, I'm going to say... Uh, Oh, sorry about that, guys. Um, I, I, I'll say 8-Division World Champ, although we're going to put an asterisk next to that because I don't think he's won belts at 154. If you go back and listen to my last week's podcast with Matt the Hips and Hunter on MCR Combat, uh, on Mixed Combat Radio, MCR Radio, uh, you'll hear why I don't think he's an 8-Division World Champ uh, because he's never beat anyone at 154. But look, he's a great creator. Nevertheless, this is a good fight. It's a fight we all want to see. Um, you know, it, it's a big fight. Um, I, I think Crawford wins. I, I think Crawford may even stop him. Um, I think Crawford beats him up pretty good. Um, so I'll, I'll just leave it there. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think the fight happens? I'm not convinced that it does, but it's the, the headlines say we're having this fight. Uh, you know, so I will go and I will play along with that for now. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts or comments below. Am I just being a buzzkill? This fight definitely going to happen. I'll link a story to the Boxing Insider article as well. Um, so you guys can check that out. Um, the, the story that I read. Um, but please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day. Keep you up to date on the latest uh, boxing news and rumors. Again, guys, please like and subscribe. I'm going to have trouble posting this. I want to get them all posted. Today and tomorrow's episodes are going to be tough, uh, but, but please get them, uh, please share them, share them, share them. Uh, you guys post them, share them in all forms. You know how it works. Uh, it is March 30th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame, and that needs to change. Uh, let's get the Iron Boy in the Boxing Hall of Fame, class of 2021. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.